In this video, we learn how to use the drawing tool. This tool helps you to create sketches from scratch or modify pre-made templates from various subjects. The tool also supports all fundamental shape transformation features, text labeling, freehand drawing, and simple snapping and alignment guides. To insert the drawing tool, click this toolbar icon. The drawing tool block is composed of the editing canvas, sidebar, and toolbar. In the sidebar, you will find a set of commonly used editable shapes such as lines, arrows, circles, rectangles, triangles, etc. You can also choose from the subject specific shape library by clicking graphs or subjects. To insert shapes, click on any one of the tiles in the share library and the shape will be inserted into the editing canvas. Once added, shapes can be translated, scaled, rotated, or resized by using the selection nodes. If multiple shapes are being used, they can be grouped together so they act as a single unit. Drag the cursor over all the desired shapes and click the group icon in the toolbar. The shapes will then move and transform as a unit. To ungroup the shapes, simply click on any set of grouped shapes and then click ungroup button on the toolbar. You can also add freehand lines to the drawing canvas. To add a freehand line, click on the drawing toolbar icon and begin drawing with the mouse. Once the line is completed, click the icon again to exit the freehand drawing mode. Just like other shapes, freehand lines can be scaled, rotated, translated, grouped and otherwise edited. Shapes and groups of shapes can be cut copied or pasted using toolbar buttons. Shapes can also be moved forwards or backwards in the case of overlapping order that needs to be rearranged. You can use send backwards or send forwards buttons to choose which shape appears on top. You can also move the shapes by a single pixel in any direction using keyboard arrow buttons if more precise placement is needed. Additionally, any shape or group of shapes can be deleted using the backspace or delete key or the delete button in the toolbar. You can also type and search a specific shape using the search bar. Let's take an example and modify a pre-built shape. Once inserted, the shape must be ungrouped to begin editing. Once you have made the changes, click done or click anywhere outside the block. Happy learning! Happy solving!